here's how to make successful LearnDash data migration. Last week, we got reached out by a digital agency at Upwork with a request to help with the data migration from one environment to another because when environment was created, the users keep continue learning at the original environment. So we needed to merge all this data. And the thing is that the previous developer failed with his job and it was already like a very tricky situation. When we got deeper into the project, we find out that originally some data was migrated incorrectly and there was no like IDs or something we can attach data to and to simply merge. Uh, after a few attempts with basic learn dash migration stuff, with um, repair all import export plugins, we almost got in a desperate situation and like we're ready to say to our content managers that, hey guy, here's 1,000 uh, data rows, the 1,000 like, users, we need to migrate all the data from one arm to another and like check every course, loss and, and stuff uh, step by step. And then we got an idea that why don't we simply remove some tables, get lost a lot of data, but then we'll be able to correctly migrate the stuff. So we created, I guess, four different environments. So the staging, the production, a staging before changes, and so on and so on, in order to preserve all the data. And by the time we finished, we got successfully migrated all the data. And the last step was just to move the outstanding templates and stuff that was done in staging uh, by previous developer from the backup. After that was done, project is successfully finished and handed over to the agency. But the moral of the story is that not everything goes from uh, start to success with an A plan. Sometimes you need to plan B, plan C, plan D, and so on. Keep following if you like WordPress tips from a real agency environment. It was Vitaly from Calibri. Bye-bye.